starts out with this little thing. And that's not too difficult. We're really sliding with our third finger here from the 10th fret up to the 12th fret and then back down on the first and second strings. Then same motion on the fifth and seventh fret. So, so that's slowly. And then, and that chord is just a D major seven. So you just bar your first finger, bloop, 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 across the second fret of the third, second, and first strings. It's like a D chord, except without that. So you get your major seven in there. So, and then there's that cool. So we want to get that in there, but let's you know, let's put some more of the chord in there too so we can let it ring through. So the way I do it is, there's basically, there's this uh, voicing of a D major seven up here that you can go to, but we don't need the whole chord. We just want this top part of it. We have a low D here. So it's open D string, second, uh, second finger on the sixth fret of the third string, Third finger on the seventh fret of the second string, first finger, first finger on the fifth fret of the first string. And we still get our D major seven. But now we're up here where we can have access to this thing. So we're gonna go. Then there's a little thing that's gonna go. So coming out of that. Third finger slides up to the eighth fret. Pull off. First finger is going to grab the seventh fret on the second string. Roll it over to the seventh fret on the third string. To this awesome chord, one of my favorites. It's basically like a G major 13. So it's like a major seven chord with um, uh, six on top. Because you have your seven, it's a 13. So. It looks like this. It's first finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and then second finger and third finger on the fourth fret of the uh, fourth and third strings. Pinky's gonna grab that fifth fret there in the second string. And then we have another one of those figures that's like this. A little lower that time. So we can do that by just taking taking the first finger off and barring the third fret uh, across the first and second strings, just playing these bottom four strings. Then with our pinky, we can hit that run on top while the chord rings underneath it. So all together up to there. does the same thing again except a slight slight variation we're going back up to there repeating this part again now we got a little it gets a little different here so the lick is this or the run so it's like a D chord shape, just this, these two. Slide it all the way up though, so that you're at the seventh fret on the third string and the eighth fret on the second string. And you can play your low D note while you do it. And just slide it down. So first move is a half step, then a whole step, and another whole step. So. And then we're going to go to this chord. Now that's a G minor 6 chord. So we're going uh, second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, second, uh, uh, first finger, second fret, fourth string, and then we got third finger and pinky on the third frets of the third and second strings. And we're going to leave that E string open then we want to grab that third fret with our pinky on the first string. Now the whole time I'm strumming through the chord, but I do not want this 
A string to ring through. So I'm going to use my second finger to mute that out. Then we're going to go back and do this again. 